a 200-mile-wide Arctic hurricane, barrels directly over the fishing grounds. We just got into a hell of a squall here. I don't have the horsepower. I don't have the, the rail height. This is not a hurricane fishing boat. On the 108-foot Cape Caution. We have the worst weather we've seen this entire season. China sent for a southwest wind that's about 40 knots. Always trying to think ahead. We kind of set them so when we pick them later with the wind, we just, we just not in the weather. Fighting through the relentless storm. They're trying to protect us. Captain Wild Bill Bukrowski lines up his next string. The setup. The rough weather really exposes our greenness and crew out here. Just kind of lob the bag over the side and center and throw it away from the boat. The powerful currents push the buoy set up under the hull. I think I got it blown out, but part of it here. Now, the captain's problem is whether or not his lines made it past the stern. Ronnie didn't throw him out far enough, and this weather pushed him back on our boat. If you run one over, you could, uh, worst case scenario, you can break the shaft and lose the prop. Cleared it. Hey, Nick, can you come up and take a look off the stern and see if I'm dragging anything with? If you're wrapped, it'll kill the engine. You know, we, we can lose the boat. No, you're clear of the police setups back there. Is it? Yeah, it's still, yeah. We're good. We're lucky. I mean, we can't afford to get anything in the wheel. Us going to town on one engine right now would be totally disastrous. Uh, all right, let's, uh, yeah, go ahead, continue. Shuts down one of our engines. We are screwed. On the Cape Caution. We are a long way from home, and we're talking 50 knot winds, and I can't maintain steering with one engine on this boat. Is it on the wheel or is it on this line? No, it's down there. So they're both going down? Yeah. So when we said it was clear, we weren't clear. 
I'm pretty sure I was clear. I don't know. We have a pot tied up on the rudder. Nick said we were clear. We weren't clear, so we caught it. Set a second one, so a second one wrapped up on the first one. Launching a string in a storm, the boats ran over a buoy setup, and a propeller snagged a pot. When the second pot was launched, it caught hold of the first one. Now dragging 2,000 pound anchors and 300 yards of line, captain and crew are in a bind. If this stuff comes loose and all of a sudden there's a, a big couple big loops and it gets wrapped up in the wheel, we could be right in the middle of a 40, 50 knot blow and when I'm putting the boat at risk, along with the crew, to stay out with We got pots stuck in our wheel. It's really It's really bad. Pull up all the slack you can. Tightening the lines minimizes the chance of any more snags. As long as I put it in forward and go, that will just hang. But if I have to maneuver, and you put it in reverse and it wraps around the shaft, it can it can just bind us up and just shut us down. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, you're secure back here. All right, you know what? The forecast is nothing but 40s and 50s for the next five days. Yeah. I'm, I can't risk this. Yeah, it's understandable. We're going in, so secure the deck. We're really fortunate right now that we even have power to the starboard engine. We're going to uh, take what we have and go to town. Ten years ago, I would have, wouldn't have batted an eye. I would have tied the best I could have, but times are changing. This isn't the way I want to go. I've never had to come in for line in a wheel, but first for everything, you know? After dragging 900 feet of line back to town... As soon as he gets that line cut out of the wheel, we're going to throw lines and get out of here. Captain Wild Bill prepares to head back out and wrap things up. <clears throat> Divers are done. Line is out. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Let's throw the lines. Let's get out of here and get this over with. We don't have much to catch. Okay, I'll go fire me. 